Hey guys, it's Derek and it's a public holiday Monday so it must be another Amazon Prime unboxing day. So for you guys who've been living in Sydney, or actually anyone who's been living on the eastern seaboard of Australia for that matter, you will have known that for many months now we've had copious amounts of rain and the good thing about rain is it fills up the dams, it waters our garden, gives us drinking water, but it plays havoc with a lot of other stuff. With all this rain has come a lot of damp, a lot of moisture and a lot of mold. And mold is not good for the house, mold isn't good for our stuff, mold isn't good for us. And in our house we've had heaps of problems, moisture, basically we've had like moisture on the ceilings, we've had doors that where the wood is so swollen that we can't even get them open. Our internal pantry door is stuck now, as well as our front door. The washing doesn't dry, and you know that feeling when you've got washing that's been like kind of wet for a number of days and it kind of smells when you wear it? That's what we've been dealing with here for months here in Sydney. The other thing is I'd hate to see what my camera gear is doing, even though I've got some of those silica gel packets in there. It's been so moist. And do you know what even freaked me out the other day was that the little bamboo mats, you know, the ones you use to roll up sushi, we had a couple of them in our pantry drawer and they've got mold on them as well. According to my Aronet 4, the humidity of our lounge room averages between 69 and 80% most of the time now because it's just so damn moist. We've got the air conditioning on, on heat obviously because it's winter, and now we've started to have the fire on and hopefully that will dry things out a little bit. But we need a little bit of help. We need to get all this moldy stuff off and the last thing we want to do is inhale all the mold spores into our airways and cause ourselves more problems. So last week we ordered this thing. Now I'm just going to open it right here on the desk. And once again, I've forgotten to bring a knife, which I'm hopeless with, but I'm going to just try and tear this open. So this is from Amazon Prime. This isn't going to work. I'm going to have to come back. No, it's working. This is the worst unboxing of all time because I'm really open with this. Lots of paper for the fire. I might just sort of just throw this out. Really. So we got this thing from Amazon Prime. It was for about a hundred bucks. Once again, I've forgotten the exact cost of this, but this is a dehumidifier. So the aim of this thing is we put it in a room, let it suck all the moisture out of the atmosphere. It collects itself in a little bowl thing and we just empty the water. And hopefully that'll get some of the humidity and the moisture out of this house. According to this thing, it is, has a removable tank, it's portable and it is clean. So we got to plug this into the mains and it apparently sucks out 350 mils of water per day. So that's pretty impressive. It has a one liter water reservoir tank thing. So it's going to be good for three days without having to empty it if you leave it that long. I don't know how noisy it's going to be. So that's something I'm going to test out. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but it is really light and it's really portable. So our plan is to initially put it in the dampest places that we can find and hopefully it sucks some of the moisture out. We might move it from room to room. The other thing we're planning to buy over the next couple of months is actually an air purifier, but that's separate. You can get air purifiers and dehumidifiers together. I don't know how well they work, but I thought we'd just get one separate. This is a nice, more portable model. The other ones we've seen, which are about five or $600, are about the size of a portable air conditioning unit. So they're huge and they go on wheels. So let's just unbox this little thing. Instructions. Foam padding. And it's this thing. This kind of almost looks like one of them portable speaker things. So it feels very sturdy, which is always a good start when it comes to unknown products from Amazon or eBay or any of these places. It literally looks like a speaker. It's got a grill on the top. It's got a power cord on the back, so it just plugs into the mains. Let's see how long this cable is. Hopefully it's long enough that it can reach places. So maybe about a meter. The other stuff that it comes with is inside the water reservoir. So I'm gonna just get that open.
going to peel this plasticky thing off. I think we need to. We might not have to. It's making weird squeaking noises though, isn't it? Oh, and this thing actually... I know what's inside now. This thing actually comes with a free indoor thermometer. So this is what's in the box. So that's exciting. So you get a bonus. You get two unboxings for the price of one today. And it's just a tiny little gadget which tells you the temperature and the humidity inside the house. So it gives you an idea whether this thing is working. And it's Certificate Inspector 02. So this thing is actually called an indoor hygrometer with a convenient guide so it measures your temperature and humidity. I'm sure... I'm sure that it's going to need batteries which won't be included. Which is right here. I think this is a magnetic bit or it's a piece of tape or something, can't tell. But right now I can't even get the door open on this thing to put batteries inside. Maybe it opens. Oh, there you go. So it uses two AAA batteries, which I'm going to have to find. Hopefully it's accurate. But let's put that aside. That's not the point of this video. It's this thing here. So I'm gathering. I don't know what this bouncy bit here is for. I'm guessing you just get that and you just plonk it into the bottom like so. There's three buttons on the top. This is on, off, light and sleep. So let's turn this on and see what happens. Just pop this thing into the power point where we are sitting. This little door here, which I guess is some sort of a, maybe a filter thing, don't know what it is. But there's some lights that are flashing somewhere on this device. Pop that back on. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, there's a light button. Let's just press the on button first. So that's the sound. Now, can you hear it? Now, I feel like that's not going to be too annoying because I can barely tell it's making any noise, which is good because you don't want it to be like rumbling like a machine. But it's very soft. And if you put it in sleep, it's even softer. So there's a light on here somewhere. Probably don't know what's... Oh, look, there's a light on the bottom. So according to the manual, please install the float in the specified position before use. So that was the thing that was wiggling around in there. Let me just turn this off for a second. So this floaty thing. So it's already installed. So I'm guessing we don't have to do anything with this thing. The RGB light indicator, which is what we just turned on. There's a handle, which is here, so you can carry it like that. There's an air inlet, which is that thing on the back. Thank you for purchasing a H2105 dehumidifier. And the coverage area apparently is less than or equal to 300 square feet. I have no idea what that is in square meters because we do square meters here in Australia. So I'm switching it on, which I've already done. The RGB light button, when the power is proud on, press the light button to turn on the colorful ambient light that will gradually change. Press again to select the color and long press to turn it off. So it's just a decorative thing. Sleep mode, the machine runs quiet with no annoying sound. And smart power off, equipped with a water level controller. This humidifier can shut itself off when the controller reaches its maximum level and the indicator light turns right to remind you to empty the tank out. It's interesting, it says, do not use it nearby water. Well, isn't there gonna be water in this thing? Anyway, forbidden to use it in a flammable and explosive environment. Okay, I will make sure we do that. Do not block air outlet. So that's pretty much it. So this is a dehumidifier. We're gonna try this on and I'm gonna come back to you in a few days and let you know if there's actually any water in this tank here to see if it works. So I'm gonna catch you then. You guys have a great afternoon and just remember to like and subscribe to my video and hit that notification bell so you get notified of any new videos I make and I'll see you back here in a couple or a few days. Bye. So hey guys, just to prove that this thing does work, look, there's water in here. So the dehumidifier has been sitting in the laundry for about a day or two. We've actually turned it off at night just to make sure that nothing happens because, you know, we just want to make sure that it didn't blow up or anything overnight. But it's filled up a little bit of water and that water's obviously come from the atmosphere. And the other thing we've noticed that's good is this door now slides perfectly. And that was stuck a week or two ago. So that's great. I don't know if it's just dehumidifier 
or it's got a combination of the fact that we've got the fire on as well but so far so good and if you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up leave a comment below if you've got any questions and remember to subscribe to my channel so until the next video we'll catch you next time have a great day bye